I am bored out of my mind. I've been sitting here staring at, at this for a very, very long time. That's it. Bella, what should I do? How about you work on that album thingy you said you would do for everyone? Bella, that's a great idea. I've been thinking about doing this for years, but I never got around to it. Oh, I freaking bet. Have you ever wanted to create music? Have you ever wanted to share in a non-barbaric manner, like uploading it SoundCloud over and over and over again, just so people can just keep playing it only on SoundCloud and never on their own iPhone or iPod devices? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make a music album in your own house, on your own computer today. Now, the first things you need is microphone and just some software tools, just basic stuff you can download. One of the softwares is actually $200, so you can fork out two hundred dollars to download something that'd be that'd be kind of important too steps you need to take to create this album is somewhat extensive long time consuming very time consuming it's not you're not gonna make it on a weekend it's a very long process so first step is make a lead song and then record your vocals for the second step third step cover art fourth step iTunes options and fifth step putting it on on a CD that's another thing you need you need to put it on these CDs I got these at Micro Center for about got these about four bucks pretty pretty nice they're classic vinyl so you get to have can't really see that but you get to have these classic little it looks like an old record that, that that's that's what I'm trying to get at it's a good quality CD this is the best you can get others print you know images on a lot more expensive you need to buy a, sp a special printer but yeah so making the lead song for your album that means making a song that you want to be recognized off the album and mostly get most of the attention a couple examples of lead songs are are the monster not afraid the real slim shady all I can think of is the Eminem songs right now because that's all I listen to focus by Ariana Grande that's all it's all I'm on mine Eminem and Ariana Grande so I'm gonna show you how to make your lead songs so let's get to it Now this is Fruity Loops. This is a pretty extensive program. It has everything a artist could need. It's probably one of my favorite and probably the only right music program to use. I, I'll just show you. I'll just go through some of the stuff. Show you. I'm just going to minimize this. Probably one new. What is all this stuff? You don't understand any of it. Well, at, that's how I was at first. I was mind blown at the things at my fingertips. But in making a lead song, it has to be catchy. You always have something about it. You get that catchiness. That's within the chorus. The chorus is what matters. How do you do that? How does one do that? What I do, sometimes I'll work on vocals, sometimes work on my lead song first. When I mean vocals, I just mean the lyrics, so just writing the stuff down. Yeah, so I'm going to show you just basically how to make a beat. So, it's basic stuff and I should probably put in some ear earphones. Alright, now that I have my earbuds in, we won't have any like unnecessary echo, so I'm just going to show you a basic beat, nothing too out in the ordinary, going to rev up the uh, beats per minute, which is right under this time code thingy here, so we're just going to, about 30 beats more, basic, basic stuff, but what we want to start out is with a lead, now I'm going to pull up something, and it's going to hit you right in the face, you're not going to understand what it is, maybe, if you this is where your main stuff's going to be and you you basically have unlimited track you can push your computer to the limit the program is limited but only to sound what I mean by that is that there's this sound bar right next to the time code on the right side there's times that where that can peak and you make these scratchy clicky noises you don't want that you try to avoid that because it just makes it harder on the program and it's just annoying to work with it won't end up in the final song because Fruity Loops renders all that out the rendering process when you make a song is actually pretty long if you want to render in high quality which I always do so there's many ways we can start a lead so I'm just going to open up my patterns here which is these little buttons over here and I'm going to insert a plugin. Now what this does, you have basically electronic instruments 
at your fingertips and we're going to go with blue base this is going to be a baseline but we can still make it work so basic stuff I'm going to right click on here and go to the uh, piano roll here what this does this is basically your notes up is higher pitch, down is lower pitch, middle pitch is C5 that's the basic way I can explain it it's more complicated than that if you're in probably in band or something chorus you probably would know a lot more about this than I do I was in chorus for at least eight years since second grade so I, I know mostly about this music stuff what I do is that I try to keep these about four measures this is your measures here so we're gonna go to 5c here and this is this is your note here this is how long it goes just have fun with it there's a uh, no wrong way to do it now what I really like about making bass lines is that it makes earbuds vibrate and that's my favorite part about the bass lines so we're going to match it with some higher pitch ones and it's very it's very you, you won't be a master at it you actually have to be a musician to understand this whole piano roll thing because you are basically making sheets of music throughout this program like this you just can't go all willy-nilly with it or else it's just gonna sound bad it's just gonna sound bad so what I suggest since we're both beginners here you start out with an MIDI file what is the MID file? MIDI file is basically the sheet of music electronically your iPod can play it your computer can play it programs like audacity can play it fruity loops can play it many things can play it so I am actually going to download an MIDI file move it into fruity loops right now and I'm feeling a bit spooky today so we're gonna we're just gonna go back here to our thingy here and we're gonna add a piano to replace this bass line so for loops keys is like a HD piano another plugin we will take a second to load all these plugins are very complicated they will hit you right in your face and you not know what you're going to be doing so just take it slow what I suggest if I was you there's these little present buttons these two arrows just change them up you can change the present type Let's go with a organ since we're feeling spooky. And let's bring in our MIDI file. Accept. And we should have it. Go back to our. Now, once you moved your MIDI file onto Fruity Loops, you want to go to its piano roll. And once that will actually, you know, work with you. You want to press Control A. This will select all the notes in the piano roll. Uh, this is a pretty extensive sheet of music. This is why I said beginners should probably use MID files. Sam this is what you call sampling. This another way of sampling where it's just taking a sample of a sound and actually putting it in your song. That's different, but the same concept. It's fun. One just press control C and we're gonna move on to our all here and go back into our piano and go into the piano roll and press control V. Now we're going we're gonna get spooky here and see what this sounds like. pretty simple all 
All right, so pretty basic, pretty cool. It it, it, it always gives me shivers down my spine. <laughs> it's funny because it's part of the song. It always gives me shivers down my spine because whenever I play MIDI file, it feels like I've done it, but I really haven't. That's why it's called sampling. You're using other people's stuff, but you can make it your own. So we're going to pull up the plugin again, and we're going to change a couple things. Now, one, I don't like the uh, tempo at all. I hate the tempo with a burning passion. It's too slow for me. I want a more upbeat kind of thing. This hub right here, you can move all these around, by the way. Just be careful, because you can minimize the window. If you do, that stuff will get all messed up. So you want to right click it and lock it before you do that. Just a quick warning just in case you plan on doing But this is a bit too uh, slow for my taste. So what I'm going to do is make it a bit more spooky and rev up the beats per minute. So we're going to see what it sounds like at 200 beats per minute. Shivers down the spine. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down the spine. So it, it's pretty cool, pretty basic. But is that enough for a lead? A lead goes out through the entire song. That's why it's called a lead. It's leading the song, and you want that drive driving through the entire thing. Now what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna send this to channel effect one. Not two, one. Now these is this little weird bar graph thing, bad representation of what it actually is. You get about a hundred channels worth of effects. Why would you need a hundred channels? I I don't know. I, I barely use ten. But we're going to start with the first one, and again, we're going to insert a effect, or a plugin, that lets us do a bunch of stuff that we probably don't understand yet. So, we're going to go to Phaser, which this makes it sound a lot more spooky. Or, or, while I'm saying spooky a lot, it doesn't really make it sound spooky, it just makes it sound different. See? There we go. This is a good example. A cool thing about 3D Loops with the effects, you can put up to 8 effects on one channel. And if you really wanted to, if you worked hard at it, you can have the same sound be on two channels. All you would have to do is load in the MID file under a different name and send it to a different channel. And that's it. That's, that's all you have to do. This is called the Effector. One of my favorites, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna go to trans, and you'll see real quick. Now, just a fair warning to some of these things. If you click on them, they're gonna blow out your eardrums. They're, they're, it's a death trap. Prepare yourselves. I'm going. I'm going deep. That's just pressing on his uh, disort. What that does, it just blasts the sound to distortion. That's all it does. I'm gonna put in reverb. Put it in the middle. All right, now we have our effect for our lead. This is just our lead. This is it takes it takes time. It takes time, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not no rocket scientist, but I'm pretty sure. This is the process for every song. Yes, I sit down on my butt and I do this for hours. I just listen on the same sound with different effects on it for hours. I could do that for hours, it's tweaking it, changing it. But we gotta move on. Next on our list is beat. Now, how are we gonna make a beat with this? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna see where the song actually starts on the actual thing here. You can rename your uh, tracks here. So I'm going to rename and color this lead and have it yellow. Why? Because I can. So this is our lead. I'm going to make 
I'm actually going to go up here and go to my patterns. Make a new pattern and I'm going to put beats. Enter. And whatever you do when you have a new pattern, do not click on the one that has the actual sample on it because it would just activate the sample over and over again. I'll, I'll show you. I'd say it just plays one note over and over. It. Uh, that's why I don't usually do that. But it's whatever. Now, making a beat, it's very simple, very complicated at the same time. Mostly complicated. It's I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. It's 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 work of witchcraft and. I can only explain it in ways of showing it to you. Words cannot words cannot help me with this one. So I'm going to show you how to make it less difficult. All you have to do is go by four measures. So I got two kicks there. And since it's a more upbeat song, we would want to make the kicks more often now this is a very generic sounding kick so we're going to change it in the plugin settings I'm going to click on it this is just hard clap let's go to all right this works so this is good because the gms that i put in represents our atmosphere now the reason why we need atmosphere, it gives its tone of the song and it leaves little time for have silence in the song. You don't want silence in a song unless there's a bridge or a necessary reason for it. I know there's part in the Marine Man song that I made, it's literally a good 5 seconds of silence. Well that's supposed to represent death and reborn that's how i presented it so i'm going to go back here and we're going to go place down our beat see how it sounds with our spooky scary skeletons if it doesn't work it you make it work you change it up fix it all right so it works with the main part so what I'm going to do here, now, since this is more of a hip-hop song, I'm going to slice the measure here. Boom. Now it's a whole new thing. Now it's, now it's completely different. So we're going to start here and see how it sounds like with so, something is messing up here. It's not going to my fourth measure. Ah, oh, it's because I didn't put a fourth measure. Ah, oh, I didn't... Your fourth match is usually your climax of the beat. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna double up the beat here. Like a lunatic. Excuse me. Excuse me. Am I am I literally gonna have to Okay, so just to recap for the first step of your album, we got our our lead, we got our beat, and we have we need a bass line, we have our atmosphere, and we got our effects. So I'm just gonna add a bass line real quick.
Alright, so it's good, it's perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. So basically our song is just going to consist of the lead here and the beat and there's one thing that we're missing. We're missing a sample of the actual chorus. And I haven't neglected this. I had this load away on secrets for quite a while. I've been I've been doing this 43 minutes straight. It's been a while. Alright, so obviously these are this is totally a, a different tempo. We want it to fit here. Just about. So what we're going to do, we're going to tone it to our liking. So we got a basic song and yeah, this is this is what its ending sounds like. So I'm going to play a about this much. It's basically the song. Just a little, add more emph emphasis to the actual song here, the actual lead. Alright, so that's our song. So what you want to do, after you're done, you want to go to save as. No, you don't. You don't. You think. You think you want to go to save as, it's just saving the project. So I'm going to save as. Spooky. Because I'm actually going to put this on my new album. My actual new album, not the album I'm working on for this. And I'm going to go to export as mp3 pop, uh, file. I'm going to put it on my desktop to make it easier to find. So I'm going to name it Spooky Scary. I'm going to save it. And there's another window here. And this is basically your quality. Ramp that dude up because you want everything. Uh, split mixer tracks, uh, slice markers, delay comprehension. Basically, don't mess with anything here if you don't know what it means. I don't know what it means, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. So, I just want to start rendering and I'll see you in my vocals in just a second. So, alright, so this is Audacity. This is a free program. Anyone can use it. Uh, I think, j just look up Audacity. It's completely free. Easy to use. Now, this is where our vocals come in. And this is when we use our precious microphone. Yes, it's a rock band mic. And I am going to try to get a more HD mic later on. Let's stop that. Stop. Please stop. So. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can. Record your vocals on here. And just leave it as that. Add some. Effects from on here. There are a lot of effects you can choose from. From changing tempos. And pulse stretch. And phaser is still on here. Basically stuff that you can. It's basically. Easier stuff. There's a. Uh, Auto tune. Uh, that's about it. But, or you could do the other way and actually use your vocals as samples and move them into free loops and then you can work with it more on there. But I choose not to do that for this time around. It's for another project, another time. Now, the theme of the song is supposed to be spooky, but I can't really think of anything spooky. The last time I did something spooky-wise was with, uh, that, the song It's Me that I did for Five Nights at Freddy's, which was a remix of Try Hard Ninja's It's Me, of course, and... 
it turned out pretty good. I really liked it. Uh, that was my first time actually singing stuff, and it really turned out good. I'm not gonna do singing this time, though, not for this project. That's another project for another time. This time, I am going to just do my thing and just bust some rhymes. So I got a word document thrown up here, and I I'm ready to write some spooky lyrics. I'm going to probably crap myself because I said spooky so many times today, it's not even funny. But, since it's actual verse, you just have to go with what comes to mind. And I'm more of an emotional kind of dude, so more emotional stuff is still going to come out of this, whether or not the theme is supposed to be spooky and scary. The mind is spooky and scary. And it's a very, very scary place. So, I'm going to cut here. And I'm going to have my Word document thrown up here after I've written some. Alright, so it's been a day and I got, got my uh, lyrics up. All three verses all done. So, I'm going to read them off to you. I got skeletons in my closet and in my faucet. People reading down my neck, I better watch it. I go ahead and I wear these watches. Wonder if God is surely watching. Here I go again with my obsession. Saving every picture of you without any question. What's with you that has this tension? I think you hate me, should I mention? Why the heck am I obsessed with you? I try to escape this place, I really do. How many times have I tried to talk to you? Maybe it's time to try out something new. I'm starting to run out all my hope. When people try to help me, I say nope. I don't want to go to the hospital again. My worst fear is you, Jacqueline. That's the first verse. And the second verse is, I had yet another dream about you. I really, really miss you. I really do. All I want to do is talk to you. Then you know what will happen next. Yeah, you do. First is lust. Then comes love. Then my evil flaw will rise above. And just don't know what way to shove. I don't know even if I try to budge. My friends have abandoned me. You gotta get it over her. Come on, Tony. Jackie, 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 it's all about Jackie. This thing is driving us completely wacky. Hey, you know what? Screw you guys. I work really hard. Yeah, I tried. But why do I feel like I have died? Maybe that's a hint or a sign. And what I did, I made the third verse very, very personal. Um. Now, I'm going to have to mute some parts, and I'm going to say this beforehand, before I continue. When you write lyrics and you're actually using your feeling, sometimes the only way to actually get it out of your system is say people's names. I found out that's not okay. People get pretty upset. And we don't want upset people listening to your music. That's not a okay thing. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mute the random parts of this. It's going to be completely random to you. But to me, it's not random. It's very justified. What? Were you doing something? It's very justified. And, yeah, so... This is the hardest one. The flow is completely different, and it gets dark within the first bar. Yes, I tried to kill myself. I'll tell you how it felt. Like a truck, a freaking belt. The dad hit you with a belt. And leaves a giant well. When you see no rings, well, hurts. I to tell. Putting me to hell. Most spooky part about it. You know all about it, but do nothing about it, please. What's that shout? Help me. Man, I doubt. Smash the brain. Get the mallet. But I can't live with this callus. But I can't live without. And I made a fake account. This was, yep, I'm a. This will work. No doubt. But you knew without a doubt. That was me. It was me. You can't fool me, Tony. Please, I'm okay. sorry. Please accept my apology. Why was everything so normal? This was so formal. Why did you have to torture me? Do you see what you've done to me? You did me crazy. Completely crazy. Now that's something spooky. And that took me about eight tries. But I got it done. And I'm very. I, I get very frustrated when I do these complicated lyrics and I sometimes I just want to punch out my TV don't do that I, I it's I've 
this is my cautionary advice right now that don't punch out your TV if you get very frustrated with your own lyrics. I don't advise it. It's very, very advised at this point. Don't do it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go to my audacity. So after you got all your stuff all recorded, all down, not downloaded, but all, you know, uploaded to these multiple streams of audio. Which only took me about an hour. I don't have any of my watches on, so I just looked at half past freckle just then. So you want to go over to file, and you, in this, in Audacity, you want to go to save, no, actually you want to, oh. You, you want to save this project just in case you want to go back to it later and remaster it or something. So I'm going to save that. And now it's rendering my little thing here. Only takes a couple seconds for Audacity. Pretty Loops would take a lot longer. A lot more processing power. And ladies and gentlemen, we have completed our songs. So the long part of the video is over. Man, I still have a lot of editing to do. Ain't that right? After you got all your stuff all rendered out, now you want to move on to Photoshop. Photoshop is again another like hundred dollar program. Very expensive, but it's worth it's worth the program. And you want to in Photoshop, you want to start out with a blank 600 by 600 pixel caravan. It's this thing. And when I go, I'm going to go into my thumbnail folder. This is where I make all my thumbnails for my uh, YouTube videos and whatnot. And we're going to do something simple with, I think this is transparent. It's labeled transparent with this. Now, I haven't gone out and taken many pictures of the high school yet for my new one, my new album. Uh, but I'm going to show you how, how I made this, basically. It's pretty basic, and it's not the final version. We might improve it in this build. Might not. More, most likely will, because I've done a lot of stuff differently. So I'm going to just kind of drag this into Photoshop here if it would let me and I'm going to size it out perfectly with the album cover and I'm not going to alter it any other way I'm just going to press enter and now we got our background we got our main shebang here we're going to click on it we satirize it and there we go we want a new layer so we're going to go over here to layers of course and press this little folded paper right next to the trash can and oh, what's his freaking name from Sesame Street? It's gonna make us a new layer. And oh, grimace, grimace. And this is my lyrics. We don't want to go here. We can close that because I'm done, dilly done with that step. And after that, you want to go back to the thumbnail folder. And there's plenty of things to choose from. I have even more, I think, in. Let's see, not my documents, my desktop. I was just in my desktop. Graphic design. I'm working on a school logo. And the person with the best school logo gets, you know, to make the school's logo. So I'm going to look through here. I think it's a logo. Yeah, it has to be. Emerson logo one. Okay, I'm going to open going to open in Photoshop hopefully it's going to open in Photoshop and here it is here we are going to put this you know, minus the background where's the black background show the black background all right now it's transparent going to take this control a and control X it didn't cut oh no what did I do wrong oh I just I'm just gonna copy and then hopefully this will work please pace oh what is that that's not it at all that's that's the outline of Eddie Murphy and now we got a giant high-def logo right in our freaking face 
and we're going to have to size it down I'm going to go to our navigator and size it down tremendously and then zoom in now this is your album cover you can do whatever you want with it this is all just a suggestion but I'm going to tell you take heed for example if you know people are if you're taking pictures with somebody else they uh might not want to be on the front cover of your new mixtapes or album they probably wouldn't appreciate that so there go and press enter and photoshop cleans up all the nasty pixelation and now we got this kind of unfinished logo right on our face pretty cool uh one problem this is my album not the school's album i hate blue with a burning passion so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to image here, I'm going to go to adjustments, and I'm going to go to hue and saturation. Now the hue, I'm going to change all the blues to reds. And all that takes is just a little bit of scooting a lot. And here it is. Reds, we're going to make the saturation look brighter or more in depth, darker here. And now we got we got a red big blue logo. Hooray. And if you're wondering, okay, pretty cool marine man. But what would we do next? Well we can't have 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 it say big blue and have the logo red. So we need to get rid of that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take out this rectangle tool. And now I'm gonna show you the magic ways of creating a rectangle. We have to make it perfect. And there, I'm not going to mess with it anymore, because if I do, I'll be doing this all day. That's how usually it is when I'm not doing the whole tutorial thing. And now what we're going to do, we're going to merge this along with this. Merge again. Alright, there we go. Now we got a new album cover. Alright, so we're done with the step. Next step. Alright, so once you opened up iTunes for your fourth step, you kind of want to set your orient not orientation, but your category selector here by albums. That's about it. And it will create a album if you list it under the same name. Here I put Hamilton High Finale. And what we're going to do... We're going to get info, and we're going to go to artwork. We're going to upload our new photo to this. As you see, I've taken many, actually when I mean many, I mean like two pictures of the school. Mmm, 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 mmm. You know, it's like eating pizza. You just can't get enough. Excuse me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Better. Better. The iTunes options from here on is completely optional just I, I didn't think about this I did not think about this hold up alright so the iTunes options from here on is completely optional you don't have to do the iTunes option step because this is just for one person and that person is yourself I'm gonna press get info and you wanna you know have years this was in 2015 you know we're all the same. We want to like jam out to our music. But ladies and gentlemen, in reality, the max volume on your iPod is not the max volume. Nope, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to 100% more volume if you change it in the iTunes options. So, I will set my entire album at basically the max volume at 200% because I'm adding 100 more percent to the sound factor. And now, your former or fellow classmates will hear you jamming out to Marine Man on the other side of the school. Through your earbud. I love advertising. And that's it. That's for the iTunes options. Next step. Now for this step, it's, it's where these come in. You want to get your special, you know, mixtape or album CDs. And you kind of just want to, you want to put this vinyl 
inside your computer. And ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting for this, this moment for my entire life. I'm going to be exactly like Slim Jesus and promote my music through these vinyl CDs. Why well, mine's better is because they're vinyl and they are verbatim. Is what they're called. And they're differently colored. Look at that. Where's my red at? Alright, so. What I just did there. Hopefully I did a whole big jump cut. If you go to your devices. And go to your DVD drive. And select it. You have two selections. You can use it as a regular CD. Or you can use it as a flash drive. Pick flash drive. If you use it as a regular CD. Then people can't modify it. People can't edit so, what this is going to do now, and I, it's going to let me, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is it. It, it would stop me if it's, if it's too much. Hold on. I feel it. Do you feel it? I feel it. The excitement. 80 minutes my face. So I'll I'll be right back after so, this. Ladies and gentlemen, pretty much that's how you make a CD album. Now let's review our steps here. First, we made a lead song, kind of, it's common on the CD. Second, we did our vocals, which is a whole process within itself. Third, we made our cover art. Fourth, we went in our iTunes options. And in fifth, but certainly not least, we moved all of it onto a special CD. See, look at that. This isn't a cool CD. You know the ones that Slim Jesus had? Was this a regular CD you just write on? 10 out of 10. Would buy again. Four bucks. Ten of these. Ten. I could get... I go back to my percent. I could get everyone in my public speaking class one. Oh, and my dog was around. I could talk to her about this, but she's gone. I only have myself. But, if I would have to pick an alternative to this, just do it digitally. That's the only thing I could say you can't do that's different everything else you would have to do the same digitally so much easier and faster I have the Marieman LP out digitally right now for about half past freckle a year now I keep thinking I have my two watches on but I never do anymore but not a year but since May so and plus, you can just share that to anyone. You can share your link and, and people can download it. While they're on their iPhones, iPods, heck, their Androids, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, they would have to go to that link every time they want to play it, but... If they want the real thing, they will go, come to you, and get themselves a CD. And that's why Marines and Spartans why I did this tutorial. I see you Marines and Spartans next time. Bring me now. Ed! What are you doing in my bed? I can't sleep, Eddie. I keep thinking, how can my feet smell if they don't have a nose? Ed? Hmm? Get out of my room! Uh oh. My buttocks hurt.